Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under 10 minutes. And of course, I try to narrow it down to the nitty and gritty, to the gist, to the point. Okay. You go to some other page, you probably hear all sorts of part ones, part twos, part threes. But I don't go past part two, really. If it's something really important, I'll try to make it as best as I can and narrow it down as best as I can, okay, for you. If you have any questions, comments, or insults, or suggestions, you put it down below, people. All right, all right, all right. Now, okay. I already said in the past, you know, summertime I make more videos. Wintertime when it get cold or, or I have a cold or something, I do not make videos, okay. I am not a ambitious person. I'm not about money, but I'm about helping other people, okay. So my soul is pure, purified, okay, purified, okay, because I want the good karma. I don't want the bad karma, because I don't know what I did in my past life, okay, okay. So let's see, okay, my voice is sometimes bothering me, okay, and so I be thinking that I did something in this life, and I say I didn't do anything in this life. Did I do something in my past life or something, you know? I talk to them time to time. I can't go to sleep most of the time, okay. So um, other than that, this video is going to be about... um. Uh, what else? Okay, uh, a woman's place, a woman's place. So in this video, I'm also gonna say a man's place too. I'm gonna put it all together so we can get it out the way. So I'm just gonna put a woman's place. Okay, a woman's place. As you should know, a woman is a what? She's a bitch. Okay, <laughs> she's a bitch. <laughs> As you hear James Brown always saying, there's always a woman starting some cause some problem in the house. So she's a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a woman. Are you a hermaphrodite? Then if, if you're if you have of any woman in your body, you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, young woman. Just relax, relax, relax. relax. I'm just joking around you. Okay, you're a beautiful queen, okay? You're a beautiful queen, okay? So where do you belong if you're a queen, okay? You're a queen, okay? I love you, okay? Yeah, you look at my lips. You want me to do something down there? I will, okay? Okay, you, I'll do it, right, okay? Just don't look at my mole. Okay? Don't look at my head, okay? Well, I'm going in and out or something, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to catch no herpes or anything like that, okay? Okay, I might not even do it. I might not even kiss you. I might not even lick you. I might not be suck you, okay? How about that suck you or do nothing? <laughs> I like the tease. I like the mess around. But anyway, a woman's place... Okay, first, we're doing a woman's place first. Like I wrote it down so we can get this out of the way. She belongs in the home. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm going to be in the fucking home. In the 1950s, and say, I'm going to do a little history for your ass. In the 1950s, between the 1950s and the 60s, it was called the golden era for white men, white Caucasoid men. This is when the African American community was having their uh, black power type shit. You know what I'm saying? We going to power, okay? So, but the black women was interjecting themselves within the white community with the women, because that's the, that's what I was told. I'm just saying what, what what research says, okay? But then were, Negro women was going to the white women and saying, "You you don't belong in the house, motherfucker. Who are you?" Okay? That's when those black sisters was fucking themselves up in the ass. Because they don't, they didn't think that shit was gonna come out. Okay, that it was the black woman's fault who caused the white woman's downfall. But think about it like this: the white man was like, "Yo, okay, we get monopolized on this shit." So they was like, "We getting tired of these motherfucking hoes sitting in this mother." Not they, they were good wives. They're not hoes. I take it back. They were nice wives sitting in the house today. Okay? Because there was a lot of TV shows like Leave It to Beaver and uh, uh, Little House on the Prairie. There was a whole lot of different TV shows. Uh, the Brady Bunch, okay, showing how. The woman was really legit being in the house and probably needed help, a little bit of help with maids today. All right. And so what happens is that the white woman was like, yo, we're going to start talking about feminist movement. And the white man was like, we're going to start the chaos project in this motherfucker. We're going to start chaos in this motherfucker. There's two different versions. Go look it up yourself. It's called the chaos project CIA. Um, it was the terrorist version. And then there's the domestic right underneath there. But they don't talk about the domestic version. Okay. Okay, they go in people's houses. Yeah, they'll try to say it's domestic, but they, the whole purpose of the chaos project is to cause both sex to have a battle, so they will have more monopoly upon the women because the women didn't wear makeup as much back in those days between the nineteen fifties and sixties. But let's go on to the next subject. Um, the purpose of a woman is supposed to educate the family to make sure the child doesn't is, is properly raised through the order and ordainment of the man who's the king, who's the head Christ. Which they followed the Christian rules. The Amish families was growing. The polygamy was growing. Men, white men was leaving the country at that time. Okay, it was, it was a changing era. Okay, okay. Now, okay. <clears throat> now the next thing is a Viking uh, type warrior woman. Those are rare. 
Now, I'm not saying all women should supposed to be working, but there are a select view group of women, okay, who are, they may not be as unattractive or anything, because most, most of the time when you think of a Viking, you think of an unattractive white woman, okay? But you got to think, I watched the movie, the TV series called Vikings, and she was fucking beautiful. All the women who like to kill motherfuckers, they do exactly what a man do. But that's a rarity, baby. That's a rarity when you have a woman who does exactly what a man does. She goes out in the works. Did you trade? This is what I do. I work and come home and watch my daughter. Okay, she works. She goes, to, that's that's rare. Yeah, I play video games. She play games. That's rare. That's a fucking rarity. I play basketball. She play basketball. She does everything I possibly can do. Like a kindred spirit, right? Right, 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 right. So your next subject, okay? Uh, it's very rare to find dragon ladies or queen ladies who are like this, but not like I'm diva and I'm the shit and I'm equal to you. Because no woman is equal to a fucking man. That's a fucking fact, right? Okay, that's a fact, okay? No woman is equal to a man unless she's probably a hermaphrodite or some shit or got a lot of testosterone. Our estrogen levels must be off the fucking roof. Test testosterone levels must be off the fucking roof. Okay, now, a woman's place to continue. Respect. A woman always should respect a man. Because the thing that a woman has is something between her legs. Usually not up here, but down between her legs. And a man must be respected, especially if he's making the first move, so that he gets the... He definitely deserves most of the respect, right? But these days, we don't have that much respect. It's been lost, okay? Since way before the time of 1950s and 60s, women definitely had much more respect for men. Now, the white man is losing their grip, okay? I say white man because I'm talking about that's the most superior race, okay? We're not talking about attraction or other traits here. We're talking about 70% of the world population and all, of, all the continents has been dominated by predominantly Caucasoid to Oriental, okay? Caucasoid first and Oriental, okay? So, we, we do that, okay? We do that, okay? We got we got that piece. We got that right there, right there. More, more millions of most of the greatest terrorists in the world is Caucasoid. Okay, so we got that right. Okay, now, now, okay. There's uh, we talked about the 1950s. Uh, we talked the uh, night types of women. That's seventy percent of the women are no good. No matter where you go. Okay, so seventy percent of women. It gets better when you go overseas. Okay, so y'all women must understand that in America, since a woman is privileged with materialistic gain, okay, she is more likely to be considered a used. Or a Babylon, from my perspective, she is. Okay, she's still a woman, okay? But she can't get that respect when she lose the pussy. The pussy's gone, okay? You don't know where she put the pussy at. All right, okay? <laughs> yeah, your pussy's gone. It's blew out. It's gone. The elastic... I, now, if your elastic niggas is still snap back, you got snap back pussy, okay? You got snap back pussy, then that's great. That's great. Lucky for your ass, okay? Lucky for your ass, you got snap back pussy, and you ain't trying to squeeze and try to uh, uh, mold his dick around your your comfort level, all right? Because a lot of there's a lot of females growing number over fifty percent of women wants a bigger, bigger, bigger dick, but most men are not bigger, bigger, bigger dicks, okay? <laughs> Think about the testosterone level there, okay? Horses, donkeys, and cows. <laughs> Horses, donkeys, and cows. Oh my! <laughs> Ah, all right, all right. Now, okay, so we got that out of the way. We got that. We that's simple. Okay, now, okay, now when women, they this is the place of the woman. The woman's supposed to be doing these things. She's supposed to be either bouncing with the man, but she's no equal, or she's supposed to be in the house helping the, the, the helping the families or something. She's supposed to be connected to the family to keep the balance. So that's all I wanted to say in this video, but the next video I'm going to make a man's place, okay? Because this, I'd like to keep my videos intact with keeping as short as possible. Okay, because women's bodies change. I just want to say that when women have sex, that shit changes over time. Her metabolism changes. She got to keep up with that shit. If she don't keep up with that shit, she won't feel good about herself. She'll be arguing with her husband. Okay, the man also is going to be have to take care of himself too. Because he's a fat motherfucker. Hypochondriac motherfucker. You got to keep care of yourself, man. All right, so we got that shit out of the way now, right? So we're going to make a man's place next, okay? Now, there's different versions of women, okay? Remember, 70% of the women are not dragon ladies, okay? They're whores of Babylon, non-virgin type females who are gold-digging whores, prostitutes, and who are only interested in their own initiative, okay? They're very superficial and very shallow. So you guys understand this. Now, the next video is going to be about a man's place. Understand? There's different types of people out there. Remember, the mix and match, interracial relationships, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about color or anything, okay? But you already know about what I said about whites, blacks, and, and yellow people <laughs> in my past videos, okay? My peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome to my page. The next one is a man's place. Peace.